Good morning, everybody. This morning, we're going to talk about red flags. The reason we're talking about red flags is we get them throughout our lives. Every little episode of our life, we get red flags, especially when it comes to relationships. Men, you get red flags about the ladies you're choosing. Ladies, you get red flags about the men you're allowing yourself to be involved with. Isn't that something? And a lot of times we ignore the red flags. That's the danger part. Because we see what we want like children. We see a piece of candy and we must have it. It doesn't mean we need the candy. It doesn't mean that the candy is going to give us any nutritional value. But we want it because it's sweet or it appears to be sweet. I remember one of my brothers gave me a box for Christmas. And we opened the box up and oh, I was all excited because it was a box of chocolates. And yours truly loves dark chocolate. I picked up one of the chocolates. I got ready to chow down on that baby. And it was as hard as a rock. And I looked at it and they all fell out laughing. My brothers had pulled a prank on me. It was all fake candy. It looked like the real deal. It looked like it had to be sweet. It looked like dark chocolate. It looked like I could just sink my teeth into it and enjoy the succulents. But guess what? They were made of some type of clay. Very, very well made. Very well disguised. Anybody could have been fooled by that box of chocolates. And that's the way we are in relationships. She looks like the right kind of lady. I mean, after all, if I'm a man and I want a woman that I can trust to raise my children and have my children and come home to and enjoy my life with, well, why not? She looks right. But if you've got a woman on your hands that is jealous, if you've got a woman on your hands that is totally materialistic, if you have a woman on your hands that is needy, 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 run, run, run. I don't care how well you think that equipment is put together. Run, baby, run. Please, do yourself a favor. All you're going to have is a life of drama, and it will be very short-lived, trust me. Ladies, he's fine as wine in the summertime. He is built like a brick. I mean, he is packed. Shoulders are thick and arms are muscle-toned and Oh, my goodness, what you could do with all that, right? But every time you socialize with your family members or your friends or relatives, that they're looking at you like, you know, all of a sudden you notice they have this cold attitude. They have this cold stare. They're not into it like you are. You're into it when you get with their people, but they're not into it when you get with yours. What's wrong? Think about it. You get outside in a social setting, whether it's church or at a club or wherever you are, and you laugh, you're laughing and joking with some people, and he snatches you and storms out of the club, and you have a big uh, overblown fight over nothing because he thinks some guy is flirting with you or you're flirting with somebody. Trust me, girlfriend, you're going to have... A relationship of black eyes and broken bones. You don't need that. Anytime you have, um, in any relationship, male or female, you have a person on your arms. I don't care how good looking they are. And I don't care if you have previewed the goodies and decided that they're great in bed too. It does not mean that they are good marriage material. It does not mean that they are worth shedding your love on. You will probably end up with a broken life and a broken heart because you cannot satisfy 
an insecure, jealous person. You cannot satisfy or gratify an insecure, needy person. It will not happen. Only God can handle those issues. That's a job for Superman, not you, male or female. It's, it's, you don't have the capacity. You don't have the power to fill those kind of needs. I don't care how wonderful you think you may be. You're not the God's gift that you think you are. Only God can handle those kind of wounds. So I tell you, your warning is to run. You see a red flag, run. Don't wait until the red flag ends up in you shedding your own red, red blood in the emergency room because somebody has lost it so far that you've stayed long enough for them to attack you physically. It doesn't make sense. Life is too short. There are too many other good people out there for you to waste your time. Spare yourself the trouble and get out while you can. Amen? Mother has spoken. Toodles.